Hello gamers and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. We are in the north and we have a is there sound? Yeah, it should yeah there we go. Um we have a decent crew, one kind of guy in reserve. We'll heal Well, a bit injured. Minus 15% initiative is ain't that bad. I might have to swap them around. But let's see what job they've got for us here. Two two skull contracts. Let's take the first one. Steiner the wise. Slaughtering some savages. How many crowns are we talking about? 880 crowns when the contract is done we need to be paid more 930 I accept drive of barbarians at the defended barbarian camp south of Assestad let's accept the contract and head in into their direction Here comes the music. Lots of barbarian thralls and some warhounds. Huh. My reduced melee skill and ranged skill. Reduced damage. Reduced melee and ranged skill. His skill is really atrocious now. So he needs to fight. He's supposed to be an archer. He's a very good melee guy. But I will, I will use him for frontline duties now. And he gets a... Hmm. Maybe I should have prepared... stuff. So that's the doorbell. And yeah, he needs a shield. Let's try the morning star. Only one spear, but that's okay, I guess. Let's attack. Just as it seems the ravens is ready to clash with the savages, a lone figure steps out and stands between the battle lines. He's got a parted long beard knotted around tortoise shells and his head is sheltered beneath a sloping snout of a wolf's skull. The elder stands unarmed, save for a long staff which clatters with tethered deer horns. Shockingly, he speaks in your tongue. Outsiders, welcome to the north. We are not so inhospitable as you may think. As is our tradition, we believe that battle between two men is just as honorable and of value as that between two armies. So it is, I offer, my strongest champion, Lord Cr Skullcrusher. A burly man steps forward. He unlocks, unhooks the pelts and tosses them aside to reveal a body of pure muscle, tendon and scars. The elder nods, put forth the champion Outsiders, and we shall share a day that all our ancestors will smile upon. Oh my goodness, I don't know the guys now. Let's say Magnus, because I don't know better. Hopefully he's not one of the injured guys. He is not, that's good. Okay, let's take, the, try to take the high ground. Obviously I don't have a ranged weapon, unfortunately. Shield wall. Okay, he's actually attacking me. I'll try to hit his head. Ah. 
I'll do it again. I've got the height advantage. Okay. He hit the shield with a normal attack. Again, I aim for the head. And again. My shield is gone. His helmet is almost gone. Come on. 71% chance to hit. There we go. Magnus won. He lost a good shield, but I've gained a heavy iron armor and a heavy rusty axe. Both not so good because this is fatigue heavy. No injured guys. That was um, really good. Magnus sheathes his weapons and stands over the corpse of the slain savage, nodding the victorious cell sword, stares back at you. Finished, sir. The elder comes forward again and raises his staff. So it is, what is it that you wish to have been solved by the violence you sought coming here? You tell him that those to the south are furious and want them gone from these lands. The elder nods. If, you, if by battle you would have accomplished, um, then by honorable duel it is finished. We shall leave. The savages are told in their tongue to pack up and go. Surprisingly, there's little back talk or complaining. If they are true to their word, then you can go and tell Steiner the wise now. A good end. Fantastic, to be honest. That's very honorable. Magnus gets a new shield. Unfortunately, it's a bit shitty. I'm going to repair this armor. I'm also going to repair a spare morning star. Well, the sword, no, it's a falchion only. Then maybe not. But the axe I should repair. Is he wielding a normal axe? Yes, he is. Okay, let's head back to assess that. And get 930 crowns, which is pretty good. No longer ambushed trade routes. How fit are my men? Still some injured guys. Marketplace. Quite a, the tools are quite cheap. Let's also get some food. Is there anything I could or should sell? One of the shitty spears, maybe. But nothing else. Is there anything... Anyone interesting? A peddler? A poacher? A messenger? They are used to long and tiring travels. A monk? Let's go for the monk and see how he does. He is super cheap. Okay-ish. Unfortunately he fears the undead. And he is also hesitant. But he will be an okay frontline guy. It's a helmet, a shield. Let's repair two of the shields. Or maybe all of them actually. And let's give him a spear. Because he's inexperienced. And they shall swap position. Okay, I think there's time for one more contract. Important delivery. We need to be paid more. 5.30, let's accept. Escort the caravan. Provisions are provided. Um, let's get some more tools even. Three more days. Let's sell this and this. Well, maybe not, just in case. 
Okay, let's leave. A man wearing bare fur is cutting a hole in the ice. He looks at you just as the rim of his cut drops and he pun punches it into the water. Come, traveler, take ease beside me for a time. I'm harmless. Join us at the campfire for night. For tonight. The man snorts and tests his fishing rods and sighs when there is no pull. I went south a few years back. Stayed there a few years, just as well. That's how I know your tongue so well. When I was down that way, I tasted what you call vegetables. Disgusting things, truly. And the south wonders how we grow so big and strong up here in the, these wastes. I'll tell you, we can't grow no fucking vegetables. Only thing we eat has to die and nothing with a heartbeat is willing to die easy. We need another drink. There are some barbarians and we are actually getting attacked. It's only thralls. So should not should not be a big problem. I need to take uh, engage him and also take the high ground with him then. I love the soundtrack. This might take some time. Let's shoot a normal shot. 22% only. 37 or 53. Let's go for 37. Good. Forty-six. One down. They don't suffer morale losses, because they are tough barbarians. There are three down here only. Thirty-six percent, and again. No. He can move forward and attack. Okay. He needs to wait. 49%. That was poor. Wait. Now he can engage. Take down as many as possible, as quickly as possible. I could move here and still engage. I'm going to do that. Aim for a set. Almost gone. There are lots of enemies here, so with him I'm going to engage. Try to knock him down. Okay, that was maybe stupid and I should have done the shield wall. He moves up here, forms a shield wall. He moves here, spear wall, and he will hold the line here with the shield wall. Now he can move forward. He won't be able to move here and attack, so I'll just leave him here. He can move forward a bit. Here they come. I guess they have very good attack rating. Awesome soundtrack. Okay. Armor is holding. He's now surrounded, unfortunately. Oh, if he hits, that might hurt. close he's too close so with him I'm actually going to wait he's going to shoot at him okay forty two percent forty 
at least one hit. He will engage him and maybe kill him. No, obviously not. Okay, he's actually wavering. Maybe he's a too shitty guy. He needs to wait, unfortunately. He can shoot at him. And again. No. I'll go for him. Almost dead. That was quite poor. Nice. Now with him I need to make way for this guy. He should engage here. 51 is good enough. Okay. okay. He now needs to attack, unfortunately. And he kills him, that's good. And he can prepare to attack them. Yeah, he can go here and attack him. 50%? No. Magnus is a good guy. Shield wall is helping. I think he put the shield wall. Oh no, he's um, stunned. Oh shit. But the archers can possibly deal with him. He needs to move forward and attack and possibly kill him. Continue moving forward and surround him a little bit. 50%. Good. Come on, kill. 56%, 58%. 29. 31. Oh no. 38, 46, and he's gone, so he can easily attack him. 62%, 67%. Nice. 44% uh, is good enough. He's fleeing. Normal attack will do, I hope. Unfortunately, I hit his armor and not his head. Come on, kill him. Nice. So it's still his turn. I'm going to kill him off, I think. Even though the, I should maybe just let him go and focus on the task, and that is winning the battle. Because otherwise, he would throw at me. His axe. Potentially he's slowed down by his injury. Goodbye. Come on, he's almost gone. Aim shot, 57%, let's do it. Not quite enough. I think he won't be able to shoot at him. Maybe now, no. Unfortunately not. But you can shoot. Unfortunately not very successfully. Come 
Come on. Okay. okay. He can now engage. At least he will get an attack of opportunity and he actually kills him. He's the new guy. So very good. It's still my turn and I can move here so that I can attack next round. He can just rest down there. You move up. Okay, he can... he won't attack, he's about to flee, but he's now dead, so he can't flee. I won't shoot again. Go here just to surround him. You as well. You engage from here, so he can move up as well. If he has to, okay, he's out of stamina unfortunately, so he can maybe finish him off. No, he can't. So he might still get a chance to deal some damage. Okay, he stays down there. But he gets a chance to kill him. Not used. But he's too beaten up to be a real threat. Now Magnus, here we go. Goodbye. Several level ups. The loot is not too great. Animal hide armor, nice. At least interesting. Mm, I've got. Okay, I need to level up. Definitely health, definitely melee. Definitely fatigue. His perk is going to be brawny or shield fighter. Let's go for brawny first. He gets health, fatigue and melee. He needs to get melee. Valdemar. His perk is going to be fast adaptation. Now Magnus. Melee, health and fatigue. He already is a f has flavor mastery. Reach advantage. Overwhelm. Lone wolf, no. Underdog, no. Footwork. The defense melts due to being surrounded by opponents no longer applies to this character. Not bad, but let's give him shield coverage first. Gero, melee, let's go for fatigue and also for melee defense, well health because it's well plus four, let's go for defense. He becomes a student, then we have Hilma, he gets a level up for... He, he's actually going to become an archer. And health. I haven't decided yet what to give him here. And Anna gets ranged, health and fatigue. His perk is going to be Crossbow Mastery. Yeah, I need some guys with crossbows as well. Okay, let's... And I need to end the episode because I need to do some stuff with the car. So thanks a lot for watching. Until then, bye for now.